I am a geographer. Is anyone else a geographer? Please raise your hand. Come on. Okay. Let me rephrase my question like this: Who has ever used Yap, Supervisor, or Google Maps app over your phone? Please raise your hand. Okay. See, today I'm going to tell you: You are all geographers. Geography is beyond rocks, rivers, and mountains. It is evolving all the time. Essentially, it deals with the relations between humans and the environment, spatially, regionally, and behaviorally. Neo geography has emerged as a descriptive and analytical tool for a large number of people. Outside academia, it is a process catalyzed by digital mapping technology and the practices of social networks in this information age. The rise of new geography during the past five years has contributed to tremendous growth of geotag user-generated contents and stimulates a new mode of knowledge generation process through crowdsourcing. Probably you all know where Canatino is and been there for tons of times. But imagine, I'm a newcomer to Athens, Georgia. I don't know where to eat on my first day here. What I do, I open up Yap, my favorite app, and look for a place to eat. Then I come across this restaurant. Despite the one dollar sign indicating it is affordable to me. I see there are 222 reviews, along with more than four stars. They are decent numbers, because you tell me. So I decide to eat here. I also rely on you to tell me what I'm going to order. I read through your reviews. Of course, sometimes I check the photos taken by you, because this way I will have a vivid sense about what the food. Really looks like. Okay, I make my decision and order a Cuban sandwich. Wow, it tastes delicious. And of course, I write down my own review along with the sandwich in the photo. <laughs> Think about this. The other day, I am about to drive to the Atlanta airport to pick up my friend. My GPS tells me you drive directly to Route 316 and then go across downtown Atlanta. Why? <laughs> Because it is the shortest distance between Athens, Georgia, to the airport. See, some of you laughed. I know what you mean. So I double check it with my Google Maps app. See. It directs me a slightly complicated, however, much faster route. Why? Why Google Maps app can give us a better traffic prediction because of you. Beginning 2009, Google turned to you to help improve its traffic prediction accuracy. When a driver is using Google Maps app with GPS enabled, it anonymously sends data back to the centralized server in Google and let Google know how fast their car is moving. As more and more users using this app, the traffic prediction becomes more and more reliable because, in this way, Google. Can take the average of speed of all the cars driving along the same route without misinterpreting someone's morning coffee stop as a traffic jam. See, in both cases, have you ever produced any geotag information or knowledge? Yes, definitely you have. But have you ever? Been trained to do so? No, probably you haven't. You act as a new geographer 
in both cases. In the YAP case, you receive benefits from what others provide. In the Google Maps case, even though you probably even realize it yourself, by using such an app, you and I, we are mutually contributing to a fast routing recommendation system to anyone who is driving in the same area. Is this all about being a new geographer? Beyond benefiting yourself, your community, your neighborhood? Actually, you have a golden opportunity to advance and contribute to the whole scientific community. Recently, I published a short article in Environment and Planning A. Um, I used the idea of geogeography and user-generated content with geolocation enabled and cross-sourcing to map the price of marijuana across the United States. <laughs> uh, I come from China, where marijuana is absolutely illegal. <laughs> I see it's very interesting in this country. The legalization of marijuana is changing right now. So why not do some research related to this topic? Imagine the price information about marijuana is not something you can directly pull from the Census Bureau, correct? <laughs> so perhaps to get this information from cross-sourcing, to get this from the consumer, the end user who actually purchased them and use them, is the only way to get this information reliably. Look at these two figures I created. The upper panel is just a typical semantic map. Where the darker the color is, the higher the average price of marijuana it is in that state. The lower panel is a funny-looking map called a cartogram. In this cartogram, the area of each state is proportional to the total number of cannabis users in that state. What we can get from these figures? First of all, we see, on average, the price of marijuana in the eastern coast is much more expensive than that in the western coast. We know Georgia just legalized the medical usage of marijuana last year. Let's see where Georgia is. We can see it's roughly about $270 per ounce, just right in the middle of this range. In this case, a large number of marijuana users, they share the location price information about marijuana. It actually advanced geographic research and expand the information available related to marijuana. In the future, such information can be incorporated with other health statistics, such as tobacco usage, to promote and optimize population health outcomes. In addition to that, because the price of marijuana varies significantly across place to place within the United States, it may also be helpful to use this information to inform strategies about plantation, transportation, and logistics of marijuana. So, being a new geographer, you keep adding geotech data through using these apps. Therefore, people like you and me will know the best food at Canitino. The fastest way to get to Atlanta Airport at the reasonable price of marijuana. <laughs> Among all other logistic issues in our everyday life. Moreover, you and I, we have the golden opportunity to make our own contribution to the whole scientific community. In this age of information and social networks, you are not alone. Let me ask the question again. Who is the geographer? Please raise your hand. Let us embrace this new social identity together for a better future. Thank you. <laughs>